Have you ever met a person and been curious to know their life story? Saskatoon-based photographer Thelma Pepper captured portraits of ordinary settler women she met in Saskatoon care homes. She recorded their stories on tape cassettes and she traveled to their homesteads to photograph Saskatchewan landscapes. You might recognize places in her photographs as familiar sites in small town Saskatchewan. Today, I'll show you how to collage a portrait based on someone you know or are curious to know. We'll begin by gathering our supplies. Then we'll discuss how to brainstorm our portrait by asking who, what, when, where, and why. Then we'll make our collage portraits based on our brainstorm. Finally, you can use your portrait to tell a story about your special person. What you will need for your collage portrait. You'll want to gather reference photos for the person and the objects that you'll be drawing for your portrait. I have this book about Thelma Pepper's life that I'll use to gather reference photos. You'll also want drawing supplies like pencils, markers, pens, erasers. You'll need a glue stick, scissors. You may want stickers to add to your collage. You want tracing paper. And if you don't have tracing paper, you can try tracing on parchment paper. And you'll also want colorful paper like recycled wallpaper, tissue paper, and construction paper. You can also use recycled book pages if you have old books that you're allowed to cut at home. To brainstorm my portrait collage, I ask important questions. Who, what, when, where, and why? Beginning your portrait. Where will you place your subject? Are they inside or outside? Thelma took many photos of people both indoors and outdoors. You can draw your background or choose a textured paper to represent wallpaper. I found my background paper of a prairie landscape from an old nature book. You can freehand a drawing of your subject and the objects that will surround them, or you can choose to trace the images from your reference photos. This is what I did for my portrait. You may not have a book about your subject like I do, but you may want to use photo albums, photographs, or pictures from the internet for your reference photos. If you choose to trace your images like me, make sure you don't press too hard with your pencil. You could damage the image you are tracing. I finished out my tracing by going over my pencil lines with a marker. Asking when and why can help you choose the images you use as reference photos. Why are you making a portrait of this person? When are you choosing to depict this person? Thelma Pepper lived to be 100 years old. She credits her love of photography, here she is with her camera, as one of the things that helped her live a long life. She loved nature, rural Saskatchewan, and the people who live there. She enjoyed meeting new people and recording their stories. Once you finish tracing or freehand drawing the person and objects for your collage portrait, you can glue the tracing paper onto colorful paper to make it solid or leave it see-through if you want the background to show through like I did with my image of Thelma Pepper. You can play with how you arrange them on your background. 
before you glue them down finally. I hope you enjoyed making your collage portrait with me. Be sure to check out Thelma Pepper's audio guide and read about her artwork on RaimiModern.org. Have fun, make art, and we'll see you here at Raimi Modern soon. <laughs>